Hey everyone, John here from Arise Mortgage. I'm doing a new series on YouTube on how to become a mortgage broker. It's going to be a lot different from all my other mortgage education videos. So don't expect me to say things like, no, let's do this or subscribe and click on the vacation bell. Well, <laughs> of course you can still do that if you want. We're in the growth stage of our mortgage business. And as much as I think I can do everything, I can't. I need a team to help me. So we're reaching out to mortgage brokers who are new and looking to be licensed to join our team. But there are tons of mortgage brokerages and other teams out there. So I want to stand out and provide free content so that you can make the best choice for yourself on which mortgage team or brokerage works for you. And if it's us at Arise Mortgage, we'd love to see if you'll be a great fit to our team. But anyways, you came here to find out why I became a mortgage broker. And I hope my story connects with you because we don't grow dreaming that we'll become a mortgage broker or a salesman. Like, come on, I'm Asian. Asian parents only consider being a doctor, a lawyer, or an accountant as the only worthy jobs, right? But what's really amazing is that as a mortgage broker, you just need to go to school for like three to four months and you can potentially make just as much, if not more than a doctor, lawyer, or an accountant. But money aside, that's not why I became a mortgage broker. Here's my story starting in university. I went to SFU and did a finance and economics degree. And during that time, probably still the case now, SFU was known for their co-op program where you'll go to school and take a few semesters off to work in the field you're studying in. The hope is that after you graduate, you can continue working with the company you work with during your co-op. So I did my co-op at CIBC and they created a personal banking trainee program for me. The program started off with me being a teller and by the end of 18 months, I was a personal banker able to do everything from opening accounts to a mortgage. And after I graduated, I got hired at TD Bank as a financial advisor. And I was in that role for about, about two to three years. Then my parents asked me to help out the family business in property management. And I did that for five years and it wasn't really the right fit for me. Now looking back, I learned a lot from my previous experiences, CIBC, TD. I also did a summer job at Bell Mobility. These big organizations offered great training, knowledge, and skills I still use today in my business. However, there are lots of things I didn't like being an employee. I didn't like the office politics. Hard work and good results rarely equals a promotion. I found out that it's who you know in the organization that's more important. That really irked me because there were people who weren't qualified for the promotion jumping the line, but good on them. And, and I truly mean that. There's a game or system in large organizations that I don't know or don't want to play. I'm terrible at sucking up to managers and being fake in front of them. And for those who have the ability to do that, <laughs> that that's a skill in itself. I didn't agree with how performance doesn't technically equal promotion. And I really didn't like how my future is controlled by my manager's future. And I knew being an employee is just not for me. So wanting to step away and do something different, well, what can I do? My next promotion at TD was either to focus on mortgages or investments. I figured, now since I know how to do mortgages, let's get the license and see how it goes. I think it took about three to four months to complete. I don't quite remember. I just know I took about three weeks more than the minimum amount of time allowed because of the required assignments for the license. Now that's back in 20, 2017. I did property management and mortgage broker at the same time. I did about nine mortgage files and it was nothing to brag about. Near the end of 2017, I really wanted to leave property management. It was, it was a very, very thankless job and being on call 24 seven, 
and the work was just filled with tenant complaints. But it was paying well though. I was making six figures and if I leave it, I'll be making zero as a commission based mortgage broker. I had savings at that time, but knowing that I'll be cash flow negative made me very, very uncomfortable. At that time, my daughter was very young and I felt a huge pressure on me to provide as a husband and, and as a father. I thought about taking on a part-time job outside of business hours and out of the public eye because really who wants to get a mortgage from someone who works at an Apple store? I thought about being a newspaper deliverer or a warehouse sorter that offer graveyard ships. After more consideration, that's just crazy. I'll be way too tired and I would not be able to spend any quality time with my family. So with all the stress, the fear and everything, I had to work my ass off in 2018. And I don't know if you remember, 2018 wasn't a good year. That's when the BC foreign tax kicked in, NDP was government and implementing new policies that made a big impact on the real estate market. Interest rates were rising, banks were tightening up their policies with new stress tests. It seemed like everything was going against me. But this is what I remember, in every crisis, there's opportunity. I was able to find in my niche market and in 2018, I did 41 mortgage files. It wasn't easy, but by the end of 2018, I was so relieved. It was such a great accomplishment and it's now continuing building on the success year over year. So what's your story? Are you looking to become a mortgage broker? Perhaps you're also sick and tired of being an employee, stuck in your pay grade and your work doesn't really motivate you anymore. That's okay. There are lots of options out there, but I would encourage you to consider joining our team. If my story resonates with you, I understand and I'm going to train you to jumpstart your business and ensure you don't make the same mistakes that I did when I started. At any given time, I will accept and train only one candidate. I don't just accept anyone though. The qualified candidate has to be fully committed and trainable. In exchange, I'm going to pour out my heart as well to train you to ensure you will become a successful mortgage broker. If you are interested in joining our team, apply by submitting your resume and let's get connected.